we're headed out to Cordelia Banks, which is supposed to be the highest coral cover of a crop or cornice that we've ever found in the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef. We're trying to make it a protected area. Um, we think that this site might be repopulating the whole Caribbean with this one species. All right, we're good to go. So it is amazing. Wait till you see it. It's just blow your mind. Cordelia Banks was a very pleasant surprise. It was, it was amazing to find between two of the most developed towns on Roatan, one of the most pristine reefs I've ever seen. And just seeing that vibrant community of, of staghorn coral, we thought it was wiped out in the rest of the Caribbean. Well, it pretty much was with the disease. And to find this one site in the middle of two cruise ship docks, and it's in such an amazing state. It, it gives you hope that the reefs are resilient. It gives you hope that we can properly manage our reefs. And it also tells you that whether you're managing it or not, nature is still there doing its job. Cordelia Banks. Cordelia Banks, it's our jewel. You know, we have uh, an amazing high coral cover of an Acropora it's a critically endangered species on the red list. We've got an actual uh, spawning site, spawning iteration site for snappers and groupers in that area, and we also have a healthy population of a great reef shark. So those three reasons, you know, are more than enough for this area to, to get some notice and to help shift, you know, it into not only a multiple use area, but actually an area of protection. Cordelia is within a multiple use zone uh, within the National Bay Islands National Protected Area. And it, working along with the government official, which is what we're doing now, we're trying to change the area of multiple use to have a bit more stringent regulations on it. And it should be managed not only by the local NGOs that are co managers now of the marine protected areas, but also, you know, include the fishermen in this area because it is one of the big fishy areas. But we do have some very severe signs of overfishing in that area and also not only by the fishing itself but by its practices of throwing down anchor so it's, it's working with the local fishermen so that they can also help preserve their fishing grounds in this area. In the, in the 80s there was a disease that affected all of the sacred coral in the Caribbean and for some reason we have a, a last stand of coral, a resilient reef of Acropora there. And you know, what, the reason, one of the reasons why we're trying to protect it is that because this can be the seeding grounds for the rest of the Mar region and maybe even the Caribbean. Because of the way the currents are, are in our region, you know, we're, we're situated in the right location to actually spawn and seed the rest of the Mar region. I would call Cordelia the crown jewel of the, tr of the natural treasures of Honduras. I, I would like to say one more thing about Cordelia. I ask you to come and visit it. Come and visit it and see for yourself. And then you'll understand why it's important.